What's up? 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 <laughs> What's up, Sunsees? What's up? This your girl, Mr. Sunflower. I'm back to give you guys a collective general energy reading. It doesn't matter what your sign is, Sunsees, for the special to resonate. Just please make sure you're using discernment, take what resonate, and leave the rest behind. Okay? Sunsees, let, let's tap in. Let's see what the energy is going on for you guys at this time. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, divine. My ancestors of the highest way, right? My spirit guides, my holy angels. Archangel Michael, please protect me while I channel the energy for the collective sun seed. Anything other than the highest way, light, please close, shut, and block that door. Please and thank you. What is the current energy surrounding the collective sun seeds? What is the most important messages you want them to know at this time? Please and thank you. So first card out, we have Divine Masculine. Okay. And the sun is here. Smile. You will have a happy ending. Okay. So you could be in your divine masculine energy. Or this could just be your divine masculine. Um, that is trying to stay. That's staying hopeful. Or feel like you guys will definitely have a happy ending together. Okay. Um, divine masculine energy. This is someone who's a leader. Someone who takes charge. Um, someone who's very respectful to themselves. And also to others. Someone who's a teacher, um, you know, others, their leader, you know, people, people follow them. They don't follow the crowd. You know, this is somebody who's well-respected. Fair to saying the sun is here. Smile. Yeah, um, you will have a happy ending. Give me more Holy Spirit. This person um, acts around how you're doing. So your divine masculine is acts, you know, acts around how you're doing. <clears throat> we have be your own muse, becoming your own hero. So you, a lot of you guys had to believe in yourself. A lot of you guys had to become your own hero. A lot of you guys had to take charge. Um, you know, when it um take charge and take action when it came to your life, you know, because nobody was coming in here to save you. So you had to, you know, you had to get in that energy and do what you had to do, son seeds. It says beautiful things, beautiful things happen when you believe in yourself. Yeah, a lot of you guys are um, creating miracles and um, I'm hearing happy, um, happy beginnings, happy endings. Like there's, there's a, there's a door that's um, being opened for you guys. That's going to make you guys very happy. And I feel like whatever this door is, I feel like you created it. A lot of you guys, um did this by yourself you, or you know just co-created with the universe you created these doors because um the action that you took and there is a divine masculine um you know for a lot of you guys who want a twin flame you know twin flame journey or have a high um level um soulmate that is aware of that um someone um, has their eye on you this also could be um, someone new. We're going to look into it, but I just got to give you all the scenarios I'm getting. This also could be new. A divine masculine can have their eye on you. Um, they could feel like life will, you know, be great being with you. Somebody could be inspired or admired, you know, by, um, you know, by your strength and, you know, what you did for yourself in life by you becoming your own hero. But spirit is saying, you know, smile, beautiful things um, are happening for you. You know, what you believe in in yourself. It said, just because you like the friend version of them don't mean you will like the relationship version of them. So some of you guys could be feeling like, you know, um, someone who you was friends with. You could be saying, you know, I enjoyed the friendship side of this person, but the relationship side, um, I don't think this for me. You know, or somebody could be question, you know, um, should I take a relationship to the next, you know, next stage, you know, um, take a relationship, you know, pursue a relationship to the next chapter. Uh, maybe, um, uh, there's a friend that, you know, you've been talking to for a while. You're not too sure of, you know, should you take things to the next level? What's this just because spirit is saying, whatever you do for your work is your calling. Low key chilling out the way in your own bubble. And what's this? Jezebel energy, manipulative, wicked, and overly sexual. So, ooh, okay. So maybe um you guys realize that this for the ones who was in a new situation. If you was questioning whether you should, you know, pursue things with someone who you've been friends with for a while, spirit of saying this is Jezebel energy around this person. 
for others of you guys, you have already gone through this and you realize that um, you couldn't trust someone. You know, maybe you felt like someone was going to come in and protect you and, and, and be there for you. Um, and you realize that wasn't it for them, you know. Um, maybe you trusted this person as a friend and you got in a relationship and he was a totally different person. And you realize that you had to take charge. You had to take charge of your life. You know, take your, you know, think spirit, take your power back. I feel like you'd be low-key chilling in your own bubble. You know, just focused on work. What is the sun is here? Smile, you will have a happy ending. So we got 144. You could be saying 144 a lot. Um, but Spirit is saying you guys have some type of strong connection um, with Egyptian goddess. Yeah, a lot of Egyptian goddess. Motherhood, um, fertility. Yeah. A lot of you guys carry that, you know, that goddess energy. Yeah, you guys are your own muse. Well, you know, you had to be. You had to be your own hero. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like people are, you know, watching you and um, seeing how much you have grown and how much you have changed as well, Spirit is saying Beautiful things definitely happen when you started believing in yourself and, you know, taking initiative steps to, you know, to do what's best for you. Somebody definitely could have turned on you that you thought you could trust, only to find out they was very manipulative. It says, I want you, but I have to close this cycle out first. So somebody has a cycle that they need to close out, okay? And we got 444 under the bottom. Spirit is saying you guys are definitely protected. Uh, with the temperance card, somebody definitely wants to reconcile with you. Um, but you're protected from this energy because whoever they have tied to them or whatever's tied to them is a Jezebel energy that spirit is protecting you from. Okay. Archangel Michael was here. Um, there's a lot of um, protection when it comes to the higher realms for you guys. Your ancestors are definitely here assisting you and guiding you. The universe got your back. You have nothing to worry about. You guys in perfect alignment right now. Yes. You guys definitely set up boundaries with this energy. Yeah, I'm hearing God is very good to you guys. Yeah. Showing out on your end of your life. And people are realizing that somebody is ooh, in a rage and anger, stalking social media. Somebody is stalking you and in a rage because they feel like God is showing out in your life. Yeah, they feel like you, somebody feels like you're so blessed or, you know, um, you know, the favor over your life is, is beautiful, but they don't know about the delays and the process and the things that you have to have to, that you had to go through behind the scenes. That's why you had to be your own muse. Somebody is only feeling like, oh God, you know, favors them. So like, why do God favor them so much? Yeah, this person, we got hangover. This person could be definitely, in, um, you know, getting intoxicated. And when they do, they get very angry and, and very much enraged. Divine intervention, old flame. Divine intervention is here. Somebody's upset with you because you went after your goals and your dreams. Even if it was something that you had put down and you had to go back to, you still went back and did it. Like you, like you, this could be somebody who seen you fall at one time and then, you know, you got, you got back on track and you did something. Something was a dream and you kept, you kept, you, you, you never gave up on it, but you, maybe, you know, you probably pressed, you know, maybe you probably just put it down for a little bit and it, mm-mm. But I feel like you, somebody is seeing you do something that they thought that you wouldn't do. Something about your confidence as well. We have honeymoon. Blissful state of attraction. Um, careful state and real love. Unconditional love. So something could be very new, very innocent, okay? Um, 
divine intervention is here it's given like um divine had to step in it could be a, definitely a tower um your energy was definitely separated and protected from this type of energy and whoever this person is they're not they're stalking you on social media if you have any social media um social media platform this person is definitely stalking you and whatever they see and they don't like I feel like somebody also is upset because they couldn't get you off track. Like you, you finish what we, it's like you continue to finish the journey. You kept going. Even whatever mishaps that you went through, you know, you kept going. Somebody is watching you win, Sunsteeds. Or Spirit is saying it will be. We have pleading for help, peaceful and soothing and stability. Yeah, I feel like your help came from the higher realms of the divine. It says pleading for help, peace, and soothing, and stability to the pinnacles. Yeah, divine intervention stepped in. Your ancestors stepped in. Mm-hmm. And somebody, it's like somebody does not like what they see. They feel it, it's the favor that you have over your life that somebody is very jealous of. And then they get intoxicated and they get in their feelings and their emotions and they get this rage and anger. It's like somebody was counting all your like your mishaps, you know, you know, all your, your you know, your, you know, any failures. Like somebody was like, mm -mm, what's going on, Sussex? Maybe this whoever this this was a friend. Maybe you you told this person all your all your business, you know, and then got in a relationship with them, and then and they they, they turned on you. For others of you guys, this is just platonic. Um, you just this is a friend of yours that feel this type of way about you. For others of you guys, this is a friend that wanted to pursue you in a relationship, and you just felt like. You know, you didn't want to, you didn't want to take that. You didn't, you don't, you didn't want to take it to the next level. You know, you wanted to keep it as a friend because you seen some type of, you felt like they had something going on that they weren't being honest with you about that they needed to close out. Can I have messages on the hangover? Playful, childlike, connected, inner child. Person can be very immature. What's this playful and hangover? Thank you. Yeah, lonely, feeling misunderstood, and TikTok too late. Somebody feels like they ran out of time with you. They feel like things are too late. Um, mm, this is somebody who is lonely right now. Somebody can be upset with them also because they feel like they was very immature when it came to this connection. Hmm. Yeah, divine counterparts under the bottom. And wishing you. Whoever this person is, they're wishing you. Wishing for you. Divine counterparts and wishing. Faded commitment and memory lane and player. Mm -hmm. Whoever this play is, somebody, yeah, they know that you're not going to force for some type of illusion or that's going to put you in some type of anxiety or something like that. They know that something is too hard. Yeah. And I feel like you walked away from this person. And it has this person with the memory lane having nostalgia about the connection that, you know, that they wishing that they would have had with you. But some of you guys, it's somebody you've never even been in a relationship with. But they just felt like, damn, how would life be if, you know, if I would just been with that person or I would just be with this person? There is a faded commitment here. I feel like you took some type of leap of faith and you stepped off the cliff and something was a nice ride for you. God just helped you, you know, when you made that, when you made, when you took that leap of faith, 10 of pentacles under the bottom and the death card. Yeah. What's this faith commitment here? Yeah. There's a new love that's coming in. That's going to be faded. Something that you wish for, something that you wanted. You're being granted with that. Uh huh. Maybe, like I said, spirit could have had to put you by yourself in like a, a hermit or a not a. Maybe you're single, you know, for you to work on yourself till you accomplish, you know, um, majority um, 
of your goals before that you was ready for this new love. Yeah. And somebody's gonna be really feeling some type of way when this new love get here. Faded commitment is clarified with Ace of Cups. Yeah, the cherry is coming, Sunseeds. It's coming. Yep. And there's a tower here. That was a divine intervention. Yeah, I heard the best is yet to come. I can't make it up. I heard the best is yet to come. Ace of Swords. Spirit said that's his damn truth. Yeah, the higher friend in reverse. And it fell out on memory lane. So whoever having nostalgia about you is upset the fact that about this relationship that it didn't move anywhere it didn't go anywhere somebody is also upset about the fact that um you know they lied to you you don't trust them you don't see them as trustworthy yeah something came to rest give me more holy spirit seven of cups yeah this whoever this person is they view you as a good thing they view you as a good person. They view you as the as their muse, but somebody knows that it'll be too hard to put you in illusion. Yeah, could you the Empress? I can't make it up. Yep. There's some type of truth that you uh, some type of truth or you know, um mental clarity about this person. You realize like this person, mm mm. They got a lot of options, or they like to have people and illusions. They play too many games. They very immature. Eight of Wands. This is forward movement. Closing out a cycle. What's the Eight of Wands? What's the communication? I feel like they want to tell you something. Queen of Wands to the Ten of Swords. What's the Queen of Wands to the Ten of Swords? What do they want to tell the collective? Knight of Cups. They want to tell you that there's it's something over something. Okay, so this person want to tell you that they're closing out something somewhere else. Would you still be open to this Knight of Cups with them? Page of Wands. That's what they want to tell you. They closing out a cycle somewhere else. Would you still be open? Seven of Pentacles, King of Cups. They want to let you know that they they want to invest. You know, would you would you still be open for this connection? Or you want to decide new love? They want to come in and speak their truth. Whatever relationship they was in, they allow they um they're letting that go. What's the high friend in reverse? Yeah, three of wands. This person is yeah, the short card. <clears throat> Six of cups. So I see you moving on from the past though. It's like even if this all right, this is not gonna be for everybody, okay? Of course, you know every reading is not gonna resonate for everybody. But whoever you are. It's like whatever your boundaries is, you got it's set with this person. Um, it's like somebody feels like somebody took too long from the past. You already fur like further on and moving on. Somebody feels like the three of wands, the shrimp card, six of cups. Somebody moved on from the past. They distanced themselves. They looking at their future. But now that somebody wants to invest in you. They feel like with the TikTok that it might be too late because you they see they view you as someone who's moving on. It says the, the sun, the sun is here. Smile, you will have a happy ending. This person wants you to be a they want a happy ending with you. Knight of Swords to the lovers to the sun card. They about to take some type of action because this person is choosing you. Three of Cups, they want to reconcile, but they worry that you don't want to. They don't know what they what they gotta what they have to do or what they gotta do because they feel like you don't wanna they don't know you wanna reconcile with them. For a lot of you guys, you're choosing to move on to something different from your past. You don't want your past at all. What's the lovers? What's the lovers? Ten of Wands. Somebody feels like something is too difficult, it's too hard. Yeah, seven of swords because somebody got it busted. Three of Pentacles, who they was working with. Somebody was working with something. Yeah, you don't want to work with this person. You found out this person was sneaky and they was lying. Yeah, that was the problem. They were sneaky and they was lying. And they had to close out something somewhere else. King of Pentacles to the devil. 
Somebody could have been codependent on him for, you know, finances. Five of Swords, the Hermit to the Judgment. Whoever this person is, they're lonely thinking about you. Feeling like you moved on. Mm -hmm. This person wants a second chance. Nine of Cups and Eight of Swords. Then they had three of swords. Somebody feels like you're gonna get you're gonna find you're gonna find your wish or you're gonna get some type of wish. Um, and it ain't gonna be them. Like it they somebody feel somebody in their head because they know something is coming in for you. And they feel like they should have been the one. They should like somebody felt like I had my perfect match and I fumbled it. And I know somebody else is going to be very lucky to have you. Yep. They've been trying to manifest you back in. Yeah, they've been hiding that. The Queen of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Cups in reverse. Somebody is not giving to somewhere else anymore because they're not happy. Yeah, they're walking away. Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands, the Death Card. For some of you guys, this is Seven of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, your answers is blocking it. Um, for some of you guys, it's um, it's like now that now that the new love is here and that the new love is coming in, it's like now this person wants to get their stuff together and um, hurry up and move and and, and do all of that. But a lot of you guys look like you have moved on already. So you guys have, with the love is sticking out to me, with the Ten of Wands sticking out, you guys have a decision that you need to make. Um, for some of you guys, it may not be easy. It may be a little rough. But you have a decision that you need to make because you got new love right here. And then you got an old love that's trying to rush in. Um, now, get you know, after closing out a cycle somewhere else, not giving to that anymore. And whoever they leaving behind could be very angry about that as well. Let's get you guys some zodiac signs. And then we're going to close it out. Okay? Give me some zodiac signs. Wow. This card don't even belong in it. The ace of... Um, who share? Let me see. My deck over here. These are all omens. I had... Even with my last reading, I had seen... It was a... Um, I think it was this in the... Um, the Three of Pentacles. But... You guys are moving on to new love. Leo. Yeah, your spirit team is moving you on to something new and better. Uh, yeah. I don't know who the hell this person was that thought you was going to sit around and wait for them when <laughs> you the whole gift. Who the heck? Yeah, we have Pisces. I was like, what? Uh -uh. We got Gemini. Somebody must have lost Aries. I lost their mind. The Taurus. Yeah. Anybody would love to be with someone like you. Your energy is very beautiful. Scorpio. We have Aquarius, Sagittarius, and Cancer, and Libra under the bottom. I love you guys so very much, Sunskeeds. I love you. Stay beautiful. Stay handsome. Stay phenomenal. Your energy is amazing. Make sure you guys are constantly protecting your energy. Um, you know, congratulations on... Um, all of this you know beautiful new beginnings for you guys you guys deserve this breakthrough you really do okay i love you sunsies later